Good afternoon, everyone in Redeemer land and uh, people watching us from elsewhere. Um, it's uh, well, the week that we are celebrating our second Easter here at Redeemer because uh, we didn't really get to celebrate our first one uh, this year. And so um, uh, the scripture readings, uh, the next three readings that we're going to talk about are uh, those that are going to be for our second Easter celebration. So our Old Testament reading for the second Easter celebration is from Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 1 to 6. Again, the prophet Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 1 to 6. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the clans of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord. The people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness when Israel sought for rest. The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you, and you shall be built, O virgin of Israel. Again, you shall adorn yourself with tambourines, and shall go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. The planters shall plant and shall enjoy the fruit. For there shall be a day when watchmen will call in the hill country of Ephraim, Arise and let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. You know, one of the things I've noticed, especially during the COVID crisis, is that there's a, a question on everyone's mind. How long? How long will we have to continue the social distancing? How long will we need to wear masks out in public? How long will we need to take all these precautions? How long uh, will this continue to go on? How long will, be peop will people have to be out of work how long will businesses remain closed or at least socially distanced? How long? You know, I had uh, one of our circuit pastors ask the other day in an, our meeting, how long do I need to take the precautions and, in our worship and take temperatures and require mass and you know, do all of those things? How long? And, and, the people of Israel were asking that same question. As Jeremiah writes to them, they had been in exile from Jerusalem and from Israel for almost 70 years. And because of that, they were asking that same question. How long? How long shall we have to endure this? How long shall we have to suffer this? How long? They were looking for that answer. And as they were looking for that answer, you know, God gives it to them through the prophet Jeremiah. He promises to restore. He promises to build again. He promises, in the uh, words of one of politicians, to make Israel great again. And I want you to hear that. And so we uh, can have the same picture in our own minds. We long for the same thing. And not just from COVID, but from living in a world corrupted, polluted, and destroyed by sin. Living in a world filled with disease and pain and hardship and trial. Living in this world, how long, Lord? And we today we have a funeral for March Holmes. And March Holmes asks that same question. How long? Did she need to suffer? How long before the Lord called her home? And so the words of the prophet Jeremiah ring true. The people who survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. We too have found grace. Grace through Jesus Christ, God's Son. Grace through his cross. Grace through his resurrection. Grace to forgive our sins. Grace to give us eternal life. Grace to set us on a restoration path. Grace to bring us back to God forever. The way that God intended. 
I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. And that is exactly what he's done. He's continued his faithfulness in bringing his word. He's continued his faithfulness in bringing the sacrament. He's continued his faithfulness in blessing us with the presence of his spirit. He's continued his faithfulness in the work of his holy Christian church. He's continued his faithfulness in extending these gifts of grace to us while we long and while we suffer. Again, I will build you and you shall be built. Again, you shall adorn yourself with tambourines and shall go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. We look forward to the day when in heaven we shall celebrate. Celebrate in a celebration that will never end and make merry for all eternity because of what Christ has given us by his death and resurrection. That's what we long for. That's what we hope for. And that's what our Savior has given us. And so that's where we continue to go for our hope. Hope of restoration. Hope for joyous merrymaking. We have these gifts because Jesus rose from the, the dead. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that you would fill us with the joy of your resurrection. Fill us with that joy and that assurance of the restoration that's awaiting us. Help us not to get overly sad in the sufferings that we have to endure now. And with patience, hope in you. Hope in what your promise is. Hope in a restoration and a, an eternal joy. You will deliver us. You have already delivered us. And our hope of a full restoration is in you and in everlasting life in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you now and always. Have a blessed day in him. We'll see you tomorrow at noon.